Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I was called by a company the other day to come up with a new idea for something to sell. And I came up with a great idea. Jeans with a built-in belt. But when I pitched the idea, they just laughed at me. But I'm sure this is a great idea. And I'm going to prove them wrong. Just you wait. Patty Hype is the episode where Spongebob creates colored Krabby Patties called Pretty Patties for the Krusty Krab and sells them on his own when Squidward and Mr. Krabs laugh at his idea. Like Wormy, this episode aired on February 17, 2001 and is also known as the episode where Patrick says he can't see his forehead. Fun fact, this episode also reveals the name of the fish who's always yelling as a running gag. His name is revealed to be Fred. Hey Tom! Fred. And in modern seasons, he would go and be referred to as such, which is cool because it's actually paying attention to the background characters of the show. There's also a lot of funny scenes or images from this episode that became popular online, such as the flamethrower scene, and most notably, this shot of Mr. Krabs looking confused as hell, but mostly after they distort the image to make it look like whoever's looking at this image is drunk. Sometimes I only see people talking about those things, and then there are the good people who like this episode just for being this episode and everything it has in it. So naturally, let's watch this episode and really look at this episode for what it actually has to offer. So the episode starts up and the Krusty Krab is all dirty and dusty as a result of not having a single customer for 36 days in a row. 36 days? That's over a month. Isn't that fatal? A customer named Dave arrives after not eating for three days. Spongebob and Mr. Krabs give him some food, but Dave is not impressed because he thinks the theme of the restaurant is underwater, so he rejects the food and leaves. Mr. Krabs thinks the idea of the theme of a restaurant is ridiculous, but then he hears Tom and Fred talking about a talking dog at a restaurant called The Shell Shack and decided he needs a special gimmick to attract customers. Later on, he comes up with the idea to bury himself alive. What? Okay, I know there's a crowd gathered, but those people seem very morbid if they're this excited about Mr. Krabs burying himself alive. With the shovel underground with him, might I add. But before long, the crowd leaves because the talking dog at the shell shack was singing now. Mr. Krabs was desperate for a new idea, and Spongebob kept trying to get his attention. When he finally did, he showed Mr. Krabs a green Krabby Patty, to which Mr. Krabs immediately thought it was spoiled, and burned it. Spongebob explained that the meat was supposed to be colorful, and showed his idea of colorful Krabby Patties called Pretty Patties. Mr. Krabs laughed, thinking the idea was stupid, and Squidward joined in too, teasing Spongebob by talking about sequin milkshakes and bow tie french fries. How about a brownie that's been put in a pot of dirt with a plant? Spongebob was fed up with Squidward and Mr. Krabs laughing at him and left, deciding to open his own restaurant, to which they laughed at. Spongebob met up with Patrick, who showed Spongebob his inflatable pants, and Spongebob told him about the pretty patties, and Patrick was immediately on board with opening a restaurant to sell them too. Spongebob and Patrick opened their stand, but it took a while for customers to come, so long that Spongebob fell asleep. When he wakes up, Spongebob starts to become sad because he thinks his idea was dumb and that Mr. Krabs was right. What about Squidward? He also thought it was dumb too. Then a fish named Harold came up and Spongebob showed him a green Krabby Patty. Harold started to laugh, but then Spongebob showed him a tray of more patties. Harold tried the purple patty because he likes purple and thought it was pretty good and announced that they were amazing. Meanwhile, Mr. Krabs was watching a show that was making him cry, which was interrupted by a Bikini Bottom news flash featuring fish that were screaming about how much they love Pretty Patties, much to Mr. Krabs' surprise. Some of the fish were explaining why they like Pretty Patties, and Spongebob said that they were making so much money that they decided to just give it all away. Mr. Krabs wanted to see this for himself, but was shocked to see such a long line of customers, and was sad because he never had a line. That's where you're wrong, Krabs. You have had a line before, just not that long. 46,853 customers have been served at that point, and Mr. Krabs felt upset to hear this too. Spongebob spotted Mr. Krabs and told him about how well the Pretty Patties were doing. But despite this, Spongebob still admitted that he missed the good old days at the Krusty Krab. What do you mean the good old days? How long have you been working at that stand for? Especially a tiny squeaky sound you hear when rubbing two pickles together. When he says this, Mr. Krabs comes up with a plan. 
He asks SpongeBob if he wants to head down to the Krusty Krab and says that instead of looking out through the stand for SpongeBob, he would take the stand off of SpongeBob and give SpongeBob the Krusty Krab in exchange. SpongeBob was in absolute shock at this, and Mr. Krabs gave SpongeBob the key to the Krusty Krab and sent him down there via the crowd of customers. SpongeBob arrives at the Krusty Krab and starts jumping and frolicking around in joy. Meanwhile, Mr. Krabs was starting to enjoy the money coming in from the Pretty Patties. What money? We don't even see him make the money like we did with SpongeBob and Patrick. The next day, the customers came to the stand and immediately demanded a refund because the Pretty Patties were unfortunately leaving their colors all over the skins of whoever ate them, even making one guy's tongue glow in the dark. Mr. Krabs escaped with the customers chasing after him. He went to the Krusty Krab, but SpongeBob had the key. SpongeBob didn't hear Mr. Krabs because he was distracted by the tiny squeaky sound of two pickles. The townsfolk kept chasing Mr. Krabs while SpongeBob listened to the squeaky sound and the episode ends. So that was Patty Hype, and that is a great episode in my opinion. I love so much about this episode. I love when Spongebob is trying to get Mr. Krabs' attention by becoming an angel, every gag with Patrick's inflatable pants, and Mr. Krabs freaking out when he hears what Spongebob was doing to the money he made, just to start off with a few. There are also a lot of fun character moments in this episode. As mean-spirited as it is, I like when Squidward and Mr. Krabs make fun of the pretty patties. I also like when Patrick tries to cheer Spongebob up when he's sad by going inside Spongebob. I like when Mr. Krabs gives Spongebob the Krusty Krab as a scheme. And I love when the fish are talking about the pretty patties, whether in a positive way or a negative way, as well as that brief sighting of Larry the Lobster. I've heard a few people say that Mr. Krabs laughing at Spongebob is a little too mean towards him, but I disagree. This is obviously that classic, youngest character comes up with a seemingly silly idea that becomes a hit story. And this also isn't the first time where Mr. Krabs was basically on Squidward's side against Spongebob. In episode 1, Help Wanted, Squidward didn't want Spongebob to work at the Krusty Krab, so Mr. Krabs told Spongebob to find a hydrodynamic spatula with port and starboard attachments and turbo drive and not come back till he finds one. This bit him in the ass when the anchovies flooded the Krusty Krab and when Spongebob returns. Mr. Krabs realized he was wrong and welcomed Spongebob aboard the Krusty Krab team. This is very similar. Mr. Krabs mocks the Pretty Patty's idea and when he sees how popular they are, he's upset for teasing Spongebob but is mostly sad because of how much people like the Pretty Patties. Then his greed gets the best of him when he lets Spongebob have the Krusty Krab and takes over the stand, therefore keeping all the money that Spongebob was making for himself. This ends up biting him in the ass as well when he receives backlash from the customers when their skin turns the color of the patties they ate. If you want to be nitpicky, which I'm about to do, here are three nitpicks. First, Patrick mysteriously disappears by the time Mr. Krabs arrives at the stand. Second, Squirrel disappears for the rest of the episode after he and Mr. Krabs make fun of Spongebob. And three, where the hell are the pretty patties coming from? They were never shown being made at all or the process that makes them colorful. It's like they appear out of nowhere. But that's it. There's not much to really complain about here. It's also funny when everybody is so hyped for Mr. Krabs burying himself alive and then when Fred announces that the talking dog is singing, they just don't give a shit about Mr. Krabs and leave. I love when Spongebob keeps saying he's ready until it turns out that he was having a dream. The crowd of 46,853 customers is awesome, and I also like the joke of Patrick's hand-drawn watch. Every time I see macaroons in a display at a bakery or something, I can't help but think about the pretty patties in this episode, which I think goes to show that this episode is truly iconic for that alone. Fans also really seem to like this episode too, as during the show's 10th anniversary with the Ultimate Spongebob Sponge Bash, fans could vote on their top 10 favorite episodes, and this was the only season 2 episode that cracked the top 10 list. Huh? Don't get me wrong, this is a great episode, but 8 out of the top 10 episodes were from season 1. And I'm not trying to say that season 1 isn't good, far from it. I was just surprised that this was the only season 2 episode on the top 10 list mainly because season 2 is considered by several fans to be the best season of the whole show, and yet it only got this episode in the top 10. It didn't even get episodes like episode 44, Something Smells, 65, Shanghai, 70, Band Geeks, 72, Krusty Love, etc. But don't think that means I don't like this episode, because I love it. This is just something I wanted to point out. Even though this episode has spawned a handful of popular picks or clips, I hope I was able to show that there's a lot more to this episode than just those funny images. 
I don't really like when a specific image that became popular online is the one and only takeaway for the episode it came from. I think that this is a pretty good episode, and I wanted to show that there was more to this episode than just an image of Mr. Krabs that makes people think they're drunk when they look at it, because there are so many awesome scenes that make this a really funny episode from season 2 of the show, as well as just the show in general. Patty Hype is a great episode. It has so many fun character moments and just regular scenes. The story, while it may be a bit simple, is still awesome and it's just an overall fun and enjoyable episode to watch. And luckily for me, I've perfected the jeans with a built-in belt design. Now all I have to do is send them in. One week later. Okay, turns out everybody who tested my product idea thought it was extremely uncomfortable, and now I can't go within 200 feet of anybody who works at the company I pitched it to.